what is the difference between a regular motherboard and a motherboard that you can get in a Dell computer or, you know, like a well-known uh, brand, for instance, Lenovo, HP, Dell, and, and all those things. So I'm going to show you a little bit the differences between a regular a motherboard, a standard motherboard that you can build, you know, you know your own computer and a, a branded a computer. So if you have to build or fix a computer that is, you know, a, a well-known brand, you're going to have some difference. So because they make their own motherboards and they put, you know, their own proprietary connectors or weak connectors that you're not going to uh, find, you know, in a regular motherboard. For instance, here you have a regular connector for the for the power supply. And this is the power, this is the power supply that I got from the other computer because I had to replace the, the computer case. The, the customer had uh, some issue uh, because the, the video card that they had was very powerful and this is only 450 watts, as you can see here. But uh, the, the power supply, when you see, you think, oh, it's a regular power supply. No, it's not. You have this weird uh, connector, as you can see here. It's very narrow and it doesn't fit. So if you want to use the, the old, I mean, the old uh, power supply, you're going to have that issue and it's not going to be the, the same thing. So as you can see, when I took the, the computer, I, I moved all the, the motherboard and everything to the new one and I didn't pay attention uh, to this. I, I thought, okay, this is my maybe another computer. When I started uh, working on this, so I realized, you see here, we have the regular uh, connector for the 20 pins, you know, for the motherboards. And as you can see, it's way uh, wider than the other one that is, I think is uh, 14 uh, pins, the, this, the little one that you see here. And that is why even if you plug it in, it's not going to work. And here you have more connectors of these. So I think, I don't know uh, what are these uh, for, because even with the other uh, power supply that you have here, they didn't have these, the other connectors for here. They only had these connectors that you see uh, here. And that's it. So here it works uh, just fine. So I can plug it in and it works. And then you have the other one that goes in the on the other side so if you have to fix and you know like a regular computer you have no problem you can swap the motherboard swap the video cards you can swap power supplies anything and it will work but if you're uh, dealing you know as you can see here it says uh, lenovo lenovo motherboard uh, they might be different or if it's a uh, hp dell or anything like that it might be different and, and you're going to have uh, this issue so in this case i recommend to the customer say okay you know because here even we don't have in the front you know for the front panel where you have the reset, the, the power button, the LED light and everything. I don't see even the um, anywhere, the, the labels for anything. Also, the USB connector was a kind of a different and everything was a kind of different. So I couldn't uh, find, you know, uh, like instructions or anything like that to, uh, about this uh, motherboard. So, and also the connector were not the same. The the main thing, it will be the, the power supply. So I say uh, to the customer, okay, you know, $70, we can just replace it and that's it so that is what i did that is what i bought this one this is an old a processor as you can see is a 1150 a socket so we're going to put this this for 70 dollars you can install it a machinist is the brand some people were complaining that there are no uh, you know instructions or manuals but if you know what you're doing you should be okay also this is a regular you know connector for the power supply you have a everything is standard so i'm going to be able to put it here and everything should work just fine and after that i can deliver the computer and if the, if the customer, they want to do something else with the computer, you know, you're going to have everything in writing uh, here and you, there should not be any issue. So the, the, for instance, the connectors for the for the USB here in this motherboard was different. The audio was different here. As you can see, you can see a uh, HD uh, uh, LED reset and everything. You can see it uh, here. I mean, I can see it just, just fine. But in the other one, there is no instructions. There is nothing. And I'll show you a little bit closer. So the way you can see, there you go. You have the, the front panel, the HD uh, LED reset power and everything. The other one doesn't have anything. And um, that, that will be the main thing. So as usual, I am in US. If you need parts, electronics, so let me know. I can ship it to you. Uh, otherwise, if you want to keep learning about computers, go to the playlist and you will see my, my classes about uh, networking, how to, uh, how to become a computer technician and everything else. If you need, have any questions, please let me know in the section below and see you next time.